guys, this is Blind Master with another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to create this 3D pop-up effect inside of Blender. I've seen a lot of tutorials on how to do this in Photoshop, and I was looking for an easy way to do it inside of Blender, and I finally found it, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And this is the original image I'm going to be using. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to use it. And it's an image I created inside of Blender. And if you want to know how to do this too, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll create a tutorial if you want. So first thing we're going to do is delete this cube and this lamp. And then I'll go to top view by pressing 7 and 5 on the numpad so we're in orthographic. Then I'll press shift A, mesh, plane. And I'll tab into edit mode and rotate this a little by pressing R. And then I'll move it over there. And I'll press Shift D to duplicate it and rotate it again in the opposite direction. And what this is going to be is the actual picture where the picture is. And I'm going to go down to front view and lower it on the Z axis a little bit. Then I'll tab back out and go to wireframe and then press Shift D so that way when I move it along the Z axis, this first pic uh, plane will be in between the two other planes. Then I'll just tab into edit mode, press A to deselect, and then A to select everything. And I'll come down here and switch this pivot point from median to individual origin. And then I'll press S to scale it, and press 1.05. And this is going to be the border around our image. And I'll just quickly set up the material. We'll stay in internal render for this. I'm going to make it shadeless. And it's going to be like a gray, a very light gray. Then I'll go to this image over here, and I'm going to add a new material. This is going to be shadeless too. And I'll come over to the texture panel and press new. And I'm going to switch this to image or movie. Then I'll press open and find the image that I'm using. And come down here and switch the coordinates to UV. Now I'll open a new window over here and switch it to the UV image editor and open up the canoe image that we just loaded over here. Then I'm going to switch it to texture view in the 3D viewport, tab into edit mode, select everything, and press U to unwrap and press project from view. And over here you can see how it's projected, but to get it to move around here you have to actually edit the uh, UV coordinates. So I'm just going to scale this up until it fits nicely. And you can use whatever image you want, but I'm just using this canoe image because it helps really show the effect clearly. And I think that's good, so I'll just tab out of edit mode and close this window. Now I'm going to select this background plane, and as you can see, it sort of looks like it's crossing over, but this white strip right here is making it look like two separate images just laid perfectly on top of each other. But we want the canoe to look like it's crossing over the image, and to do that we need to delete the little strip of white right here. So I'm just going to tab into edit mode, and then... Uh, select one of these vertices, press Ctrl L so it selects everything connected to it, and press H to hide it. Now I'm going to press Ctrl R to create a loop cut, and I'm going to move it to about here, and I'll zoom in so you can see. And it's right about where the bottom of the canoe is, and if it's not lined up exactly, you can press GG so that it moves along this edge right here. I'm going to position it right there. Then I'm going to press Ctrl R to create another loop cut up here. And I'm going to drag it down. And then I'll press GG again to position it right before the uh, other picture here. So about there. Then we're going to do the same thing over here and create a loop cut where the vertex is right there. So press Ctrl R. I'm going to drag it. I'm just going to edit it so it's perfect. And then create another loop cut again over here. Like that. I'm just going to make sure that that vertice is behind the picture. Like this. Now uh, we want to select this vertice that's here. 
and we're going to press GG again to slide it along the edge. We're going to move it so that this edge is even with the bottom of the boat. And we're going to do the same thing with this vertice here. Press GG and move it up and now it's even. So now what we can do is select this vertice, these vertices at the bottom, or just this one, press X and delete, then select these two, press X and delete the vertice, and delete that one. Okay. And now if you tab out of edit mode, you can see what's happening. The white's gone, and you can see that the canoe looks like it's crossing over. So all we have to do now is set up the camera, and I'm just going to press Control alt 0 to snap it to view, and press Alt-G so it's in the center, and press G middle mouse button to zoom out, and I'm just going to move it and position it to where I like. And I'm just going to change the background color to black, and then I'll go over here and press render, and that's pretty much it. And you have this 3D pop-up effect, you can use whatever image you want, and all you have to do is make sure that you align these vertices exactly where you want it so that it when you delete it, it'll be nice and even right there, and it looks like it's crossing over. Uh, please post your results in the comments below so I can see them, and if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, don't forget to leave them in the comments as well. And to save this image, just press F3. I'll save it as pop out, or pop up. And thanks for watching. Bye.